I loved um, a review of this show. They said it was right. glorious, pointless fun. Yes, pointless, absolutely. Isn't that fantastic? We need more glorious, pointless fun yeah. in the world. Yes, I suppose so. I mean, that's always like been it. my... My always, attitude was always that, you know, comedy is a kind of an escape. Totally. For totally. me. Totally, yes. So that, you know, people wouldn't necessarily sit there and think, oh, yeah, what about Donald Trump? Isn't he a naughty boy? You know, people would just think... Just There's forget. Trevor McDonald burping. And happy days. <laughs> and we're laughing and it's good fun. He is a great burper. I he thought can he did really, it. But he's he did got it a lot of wind uh, right. that he's How able to store. How do you persuade all of these folks to do silly things? Well, yeah. we don't show them the script, so they turn up, and once you've got the... I always think when the audience are there, yes. they feel obliged to, to it would do be, it. It would be rude not to. Yeah, not there's to a bit where that. he catches a sausage in his mouth as well. Right. I'll, yeah. I'd pay money to see that. Yeah. I think Which that'd he be really did, good. He managed first take. So, it's, well, he would do, though. He's the ultimate professional. And it was, the sausage was fired from a uh, Camilla Parker Bowles... A uh, sausage making machine. Of course, it was. Uh, the sospresso maker, which is like a, a, a Nespresso maker, okay. only it creates sausages. And is she bringing that out as a range? You know, it's the... they are available, limited edition. Duke of Cornwall and Duchess of Cornwall. Yeah. Sausage things. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> why not? No, but the thing about you is, why not? I, I don't think why there's not? ever an idea that because you can go with anything. You can do whatever you like. Thank you, Lorraine. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. It really is. Are you well, going you to were very kind. You know, you came on my Oh, uh, I loved you. Is it going to be show? more? More alien fun capsules? That's coming back. You know, I'm never a guest on shows. Right. So I, I don't really like that thing of not knowing what's going to happen next. Ah, uh, OK. Because yeah, some of them you don't. You, you absolutely no. have got a clue. No. But you were... You trained as a doctor. Yes, which... I did. What's up? No, I'm We've fine. We've got a bad back. <laughs> I've got terrible bunions, so you could have a have you? look at them. Would you like me to? I would. <laughs> and then sort them out. But you've got to have a sense of humour if you work in the National Health Service, don't you? Yeah, or if you're a doctor. You, do. you really, yeah. really do. And why, though, did you just say, no, I can't do that? There's got to, there had to be a moment yes. where you said, I, I'm not going to be a doctor anymore, I'm going to be Harry Hill, the comedian. Uh, and well, it's a long the process, thing. and it was a combination of uh, not wanting to be, not really enjoying being a doctor, okay. if I'm honest. And I always think, you know, some people say to me, oh, all that training wasted, but I think if you're going to see a doctor, the last thing you want to see is a doctor that doesn't want to be a doctor. Very true. So it's a great, uh, you know, it's a vocation. It's mm. a bit like being a comedian in the sense that, you know, if you're a comedian, all you think about is jokes and how to write jokes right. and what's the funniest thing. And if you're a doctor, it completely takes over your life and you have to be prepared to give yourself completely to sure. medicine. I, I, or it certainly used to be. And uh, I wasn't really able... To, I didn't really feel able to do that. No, that and makes so sense. And so it was a combination of those two things. If right. I think... If there wasn't something else I would, I'd wanted to do mm. uh, as badly, then I probably would have just stuck at it. And talking about as badly, when you first started as out... Badly, yeah. <laughs> but when you first started out, it was hard. It was really tough, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's always hard. It's always yeah. the same. But it's getting people to sort of, you know, recognise your kind of sense of humour. Once they did, it was fine. It was great. It just took off... No, no, there have always but... been bad nights and bad things. You know, uh, and it is the same because, you know, when you start out, there's no expectation of you, so you go on. Yeah. Someone said to me the other day, the best, the best time to be a comedian is when you're... Uh, second on, half spot second on, right? right? So you're doing ten minutes. Okay. No one has any expectation of you. You go on and, and you, you are actually really funny, but no one's expecting it. Ah. And it's only ten minutes. Because right. then when you get more successful, people come with an expectation that you're going to be really funny. So it, it's, it's, it's kind of the, the best job in the world and the worst job in the world. You know, in, on any di uh, given day, I think. It is hard because people are sitting sometimes with their arms folded saying, make me laugh, and that's Yeah, really it's not difficult. hard. It's not hard. I know everyone says, oh, you know, stand-up comedy is the hardest thing. It's not really if you have a, a, a love of it and uh, mm. any sort of particular uh, talent for it. I think, actually, it's, it's, the it's great fun. It can be, as I say, the best, uh, the best job. And, you know, pro similarly, you know, if you're a doctor and you know what you're doing and someone comes in and, you know, they're ill and you make them better, that is a, a great feeling too you know i think it's just the thing with life is to try and do something you really love doing oh th it? no that's true you're so wise you're, you are so wise you, you, you hide it well <laughs> you are a very wise man you really are yeah. and we're going to see you tonight on sky one is it half eight half eight half sky eight. one tonight and it's like after a... the simpsons after medley the... right okay that's good yes that's that's really good and it's kind of half cookie half chat show it's, half cookery it's me blended teaching in. a celebrity how to cook even though i know nothing about cookery 
Excellent. It's never stopped many people in the past, that's for sure. I have to say, love the socks. Thank you. Because we're doing, we're doing, Mark Hayes looked at them and thought they were fantastic, so he's given you his seal of approval. Mark Hayes has, wonderful. And I will be certain to Google Mark Hayes as soon as I... <laughs> that's Mark, of course I know Mark Hayes. <laughs> Everyone knows Mark Hayes, the socks expert. He's the socks expert, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Harry Sorry, Hill, I love Ray. you. Come back anytime. I will. Look forward to seeing that tonight and obviously look forward to seeing many other things that you do. <laughs> never stop. Never stop. I'll Thank try you. Not to.